The smell of freshly cut grass brings to mind summer vacation and picnics in the park. Pleasant associations, at least for us. For plants, that same scent is a harbinger of serious danger. When a plant is injured, say by the spinning blades of a lawnmower or a very hungry caterpillar, pungent chemicals pour out of the wounds, waft into the air, and stick in our noses, and also to the leaves and stems of nearby plants. Over many generations, eavesdropping plants have evolved to interpret each different combination of compounds as the signature of a specific imminent threat. The scent that corresponds to caterpillar, for example, prompts plants like tomato and tobacco to churn out bitter toxins in their leaves, making them yucky. Plants can actively communicate, too. Some, like corn and cotton, can summon other animals as defenders. They emit bouquets of chemical compounds that attract parasitic wasps, which inject their eggs into the nutritiously plump caterpillars so the larva can eat them from the inside out. Teamwork! Plants gossip below ground as well. If you seal the tops of tomato plants in airtight plastic bags and expose one of them to a harmful leaf disease, the healthy plants will detect their neighbor's illness and begin making antibiotic compounds. We don't know exactly how this communication happens, but it's probably through the extensive network of beneficial fungi that help plant roots absorb and share water and nutrients. However, plants can also use what they learn about their neighbors for nefarious purposes. Parasitic daughter vines sniff out and steer towards their preferred hosts instead of flailing around blindly. Another vine somehow grows leaves of different shapes and sizes to match those of the tree or shrub it's climbing on, using its host for both support and camouflage. Whatever the purpose, self-defense, parasitism, or mimicry, plants have been chatting and eavesdropping in complex social networks since long before Facebook, texting, or even... If anything, we took a leaf from their book.